Hello and welcome back to Life's Biggest Questions. Hand sanitizer. It's something that many of us use every day. People carry around little bottles of Purell in their pockets, purses, and will squeeze it into their hands every time they touch a doorknob or shake a hand with a random person. But are you actually protecting yourself from the microscopic horrors that are lurking on every surface? Is your attempt to block out some small sickness with a disinfectant gel just wishful thinking? And are you actually making it easier for your body to get infected with something? Well, I'm your host, Che Arena, and on today's Life's Biggest Questions, we are going to be asking, is hand sanitizer dangerous for you? First of all, let's look at how hand sanitizer works. Well, it has disinfectant chemicals that come and destroy any sort of microscopic organisms that would be living on your hands. Now, some of you think that hand sanitizer can replace washing your hands with soap and water, and I'm here to say that that is 100% not true. Hand sanitizer can kill surface level bacteria and organisms, but anything that might be locked away in dirt or mucus, the hand sanitizer will not get to. So that means if you cough or sneeze on your hands, there's very little chance that hand sanitizer sanitizer will do anything to clean your hands. You're much better off going to wash your hands with some soap and water for at least 20 seconds. The reason why soap and water is so much better for you than using hand sanitizer is that it will not only kill and stop the spread of viral infections, it will also remove the leftover viruses that are left on your hands. Soap and water is the cleanup crew that will wash everything away, while hand sanitizer just kind of spreads things around while killing some of the infection. So we know that hand sanitizer is not the most effective way to clean your hands, but is hand sanitizer something good to use in a pinch? Well, you can't get to a sink with some soap and water. Well, hand sanitizer uses trilosin, which is a disinfectant that kills 99.9% .9 of microbes that we see in all the commercials. Well, what ends up happening is when you use products that have trilosin in them, bacteria and other organisms get resistant to it, and in turn, they become stronger against other antibiotics. So just keep that in mind. They just keep getting stronger. I don't know if you've ever heard about super STIs like super gonorrhea. Well, that's from people using antibiotics too much, the disease getting stronger and stronger because the infection is getting stronger and stronger and evolving and becoming immune to our defenses. Also, trilosin can make it easier for your body to absorb BPA through your skin. What is BPA? Well, it is a chemical that is found in all sorts of plastic and it really does a number on your body. When BPA gets into your body, it will mess around with your hormones. It works as a synthetic estrogen which your body can't process. This can affect your thyroid, liver, and tons of other areas on your body, leading to emotional problems, increased risk of heart disease, diabetes, and weight gain. And this isn't just a small increase either. Studies have shown that using hand sanitizer can increase the amount of BPA absorbed by your skin by a hundred times. That is actually insane and very dangerous if you want to keep your body healthy and happy. And it doesn't just stop at your skin. Almost everyone who uses hand sanitizer will end up with traces of chemicals in their stomach, which makes perfect sense because we normally eat with our hands, unless some of you out there are eating with your feet. And hand sanitizer destroys destroys bacteria. What do you have in your gut? Well, bacteria. Tons of it. Some health and fitness experts say that the microbiome in your gut should be more diverse than the rainforest. And this microbiome is very important. It affects so many aspects of your life. It affects your food cravings, how well your body can absorb nutrients, and even your mood. In fact, some people think that your gut has a larger effect on your mood than your brain. So every time you use hand sanitizer, you are killing that biome more and more, thus killing yourself. Now, all of what I just mentioned only applies to hand sanitizer that uses trilosin. You can buy hand sanitizer that doesn't have any harmful chemicals in it and only uses alcohol. So just like anything else that you use on your body or put in your body, you should read the label first. Also, trilosin works its way into the environment. One of the number one chemicals found in American water supplies is trilosin, which means the more you use it, even if you wash your hands before you eat or touch plastic, means the more it's in the environment, which in turn means it gets into your body. So what is the final verdict on hand sanitizer? Is it dangerous for you? Well, the answer is, it depends. With the COVID-19 virus spreading and people trying to be as careful as possible, a lot of people are using hand sanitizer. In a pinch, hand sanitizer can clean your hands off for a moment. But if you're using anything other than an alcohol-based hand sanitizer, you are going to do long-term damage to yourself and the environment and increase the strengths of different strains of diseases. This, in turn, will create superbugs in the future. Also, using hand sanitizer as a replacement for washing your hands is not going to work at all. You still need to be washing your hands anytime you feel the need to. Next time you reach for a little bottle of Purell, think about if there is a bathroom close by, and if there is, pop in there instead. It will only take a few extra minutes and it will be way more effective. So in the end, try to avoid all hand sanitizers that aren't alcohol based and only use hand sanitizer if you really need to. Well, that has been life's biggest questions. Answering the question of if hand sanitizer is bad for 
for you. Until next time, I've been your host, Che Dorena, and I'm here to answer all your questions. Thank you.